it's easy to uh, get caught up in doing something the right way, the only way, when learning something new. And while certain techniques and mechanics uh, can be do, done only a certain way, it's often uh, good to keep in mind certain styles or philosophies uh, when embarking in an endeavor. Uh, rather than focusing on perfection and accepted standards, it's often good to take a survey of the experts in the field and how they approach uh, what you're trying to take on. This promotes a uh, more relaxed learning environment and avoids a loss of interest in the endeavor. For this topic, I wanted to discuss uh, my experiences with guitar. And I'm very new to guitar. I'm not professing to be any expert by any means. Uh, I started it about six months ago. And I, I wanted to share uh, some of my favorite guitars that inspire me and influence me. And I, I hope to emulate some of their sounds. And like I said, I'm new to guitar. I'm learning the fretting. I'm learning alternate picking. I'm learning open chords and all of the basic fundamentals that go with it. And uh, with that, I've kind of given you context, that I guess, or area from where I'm coming from. Uh, just wanted to share with you some of these differences in techniques, sounds, and influence of my favorite guitars. And I guess my, my favorite, my, my top three favorite guitarists are uh, Mark Knopfler, uh, and Mark Knopfler, Keith Richards, and Dick Dale. Uh, Mark Knopfler is best known as lead guitarist and lead vocalist for Dire Straits. He uh, has a very interesting technical, technical uh, uh, technique in that he plays a lot with his fingers. some of his influences as Chet Atkins, which is very country, uh, blues, B.B. King, and uh, folk rock, uh, Bob Dylan. He was a guitarist for Bob Dylan dating back to 73. Um, my, my next favorite, my next favorite uh, guitarist, uh, Dick Dale, known for his work with uh, Deltones back in the early 60s, and solo career. Uh, very interesting in his technical. He learned, he's left-handed, but learned to play on a right-handed guitar, so some of the heavier, the heavier strings that are normally on top, uh, he didn't restring his guitar, he just tilted it back, so they're on the bottom. And so, if you watch him play, uh, the differences are very obvious, and you're wondering how he can play notes on different parts of the guitar that aren't meant to play these notes, and so it's very interesting. As I said, he's, he's known as king of surf guitar. He has a uh, he uses very heavy gauge to his strings. Uh, it creates a bass sound. It creates um, very rich sounds. Uh, the uh, his favorite style are staccato percussive. So he he has a very uh, fast picking and uh, very percussive, almost rhythmic quality to his playing. Uh, also, he also uh, enjoys uh, the Middle Eastern sound, and that comes from his influences. His family is from Lebanon, and I'll talk about that in just a second. And you know, he's known as King of Surf Guitar, and the sounds, the sounds he had in his mind while he was surfing, he wanted to create that sound um, in his playing. You know, 
the influences, the Middle Eastern sound that I was talking about, he had an uncle who was an out player, which is kind of the stringed instrument from the Middle East, and you hear that in a lot, a lot of his songs. Miserlou, his most popular song from Pulp Fiction, uh, creates that, you'll hear that Middle Eastern sound. Uh, Miserlou is actually an adaptation of, uh, of a Middle Eastern song that was played on the album. A lot of people don't know that. for the Rolling Stones and also for his drug abuse and uh, kind of uh, excessive lifestyle. He, he plays traditional, he plays right-handed, uh, does use the pick, uh, best known for innovative rhythm, fascination with chords, uh, influences uh, Muddy Waters, Chuck Berry, uh, Jimmy Reed, very heavy in the blues and the rock and the blues. Keith Richards is, you know, his te technique is very traditional, but, you know, his sound, he just, he can get these riffs with his fascination with chords, and I'm talking to an audience that's older than me, and so you probably know his music better than I do, but uh, he's a genius with chords, and I'll just play a sample of his music. some of my experiences with guitar. It can often be overwhelming when learning uh, techniques uh, with uh, anything that you're taking on that's new. And it's often good to take a survey of experts in the field, the differences, their styles, their philosophies, and embrace those differences and just don't get overwhelmed with some of the mechanics and techniques of what you're doing. And I think you'll enjoy what you're doing more and avoid loss of interest. Thank you.